updates on the hacking story. It's not the only thing we'll talk about this hour, but we certainly will. Do you sell the news of the world? Do you read the news of the world? Do you deliver the news of the world? Are you a member of the armed forces? Has somebody you know been involved with the uh, news of the world? We'll be talking about that on 01427966699. And the sooner you join me, uh, the better it will be. I'm joined by Nigel Short, who's a mobile phone expert and a blogger. And I'm Ronnie Robinson on BBC Radio Sheffield. Is it just unscrupulous journalists that hack into phones, or can it happen to you? And how do you do it? Let's talk to Nigel Short. Uh, Nigel, how do you uh, how do you hack into other people's mobile phones? Uh, thanks, Ronnie. Well, I'm not about to give you the instructions, ah. but uh, it is very, very easy is for it? anybody to do it. And it, no, it isn't just unscrupulous journalists. Um, it, your mobile phone uh, has a feature which uh, is called voicemail, and voicemail uh, a few years ago was very, very simple. It's expanded and become much easier to hack by the networks adding a feature which allows you to dial in from a landline to your voicemail, uh, put your mobile number in, and then a PIN number, uh, and listen to your voicemail from anywhere in the world. Uh, the problem there is that the networks issue a standard PIN number. Ah. Um, so the networks... So it basically, if you, if you think about it this way, if you had a, a, a debit card or a credit card from the bank and they gave you a standard PIN number, the first thing you'd do is change it. But you can't change the phone one. You can. It's very, very easy to do. And anybody who's done it won't get their phone hacked. Um, so if you're, if you're concerned that uh, maybe your business competi competition or your ex-girlfriend or boyfriend or, or basically anybody who uh, you don't want to listen to your voicemail messages may well listen to them, change your PIN number. It takes less than a minute to do it. And if you do it, you won't get your phone hacked. And does that apply, Nigel, to kind of modern phones as well? Are the smartphones in the same boat? Absolutely. It's not the phone. It's not the phone that's the problem. It's the actual telephone line and the voicemail attached to the line. So everybody in the UK who's using a mobile phone, if they haven't changed their PIN number, they can have their messages listened to. Um, and there's only four mobile, well, there's five mobile phone networks. The PIN numbers, um, so that's only five PIN numbers to try. And if somebody knows that you're on Orange, for example, They'll give you a call uh, on... They, they use a landline, so your phone doesn't even ring. You don't know that anybody's listening to your message. I thought these journalists were being remarkably clever, though malicious, not say evil, but it's a dead cinch, this. You just sit in a room dialing numbers. It's very, very, very easy to do. Um, and, um, and, no, they're not being particularly clever at all, just, just very unscrupulous. So, Nigel, just go through it again. If we decide we don't want for the news of the world or, indeed, formal lovers finding out what's on our uh, mobile phones, what do we do? Right, you pick up your phone straight away, you dial your voicemail and you listen to the instructions. Don't just press the buttons that you need normally press to listen to your messages. Listen to the instructions. It will say to you, do you want to change your features? You do. And, um, and the, the voicemail pin is one of the features. Change your pin and then you can sit comfortably for the rest of the afternoon and know that you're, you're not going to have anybody listening to your voice. Nigel Short, thank you very much indeed. I've learned something today. 20 minutes past 12 on BBC Radio Sheffield. I was asking about...